Okay, so for the third week of my Q&A videos, I'm gonna be doing some questions about improving your approaches. Now, you guys might not know about this, but I have spent an awful lot of time working with both guys and girls, taking them out into the big wide world, getting them to be better at meeting people. I have seen tens of thousands of approaches, and I've done a few myself in my, in my nastier, younger years. Um, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna give you some advice now on how you can improve that approach. So if you are trying to meet more people, you're going up to them, but something isn't really connecting at the moment and you're not getting the reaction from people that you'd want or expect, there might be something in this video that can help you. If there isn't and this doesn't answer your approaching question, please email hello at hayleyquinn.com with the subject line, YouTube question, and hopefully I'm gonna be able to get back to your question personally in a few weeks time. Question. There have been times when I've walked up to a girl on the street in the daytime, I've introduced myself, and after introducing myself to her, she has said, you have approached me before. What can I say to the girl to make the conversation go better and sort of eliminate what she's just said, which is, you've approached me before in the street? Can I just say, uh, I genuinely, I kind of love the fact that, A, you, can't, you don't remember which girls you've approached, and that you've approached in the same one again, and you want to carry on with that interaction. That to me says you are pretty focused and dedicating to sorting this part of your life out. Um, respect, really. You must be going out there quite a lot. And funnily enough, though some people might listen to this and be like, oh my God, he's approaching the same girl twice. What's up with that? Look, if you're out there doing it, I can understand why you don't remember exactly everybody that you meet and you're still trying to meet people. Um, and I actually admire your dedication to improving this bit. Um, I think whenever there's like a blooper in an interaction, whether that's, oh gosh, you've approached her before, how awkward, or you've spilt something down your shirt, or you say something and you like put your foot in the mouth and it doesn't come out right, the best thing that you can do is acknowledge it, take ownership of it, and actually make it a topic of conversation because this shows that you're extremely self-confident, uh, which is kind of attractive. Uh, what I would do uh, is, and how I'd respond to this, I'd be like, I'd be like, oh my gosh, really? That is actually horrendously embarrassing. Okay, wait, we're gonna have to stop because next time I see you, I have to remember not to uh, say hello to you again. Um, so let's make at least make this interaction memorable. You've got to at least tell me your name. So I would, in fact, play into the fact that you've messed it up. I would hold your hands up and say, whoops. <laughs> um, I don't believe I've, I've done that twice. Notice my tone of voice as I'm giving that example. It's really playful, it's really fun. We want her to feel secure and comfortable in your company. We want her to know that actually you're a nice guy and you're just trying to meet people. So being friendly, warm, playful, acknowledge what her situation is like, oh, that's so awkward. Uh, but also suggest maybe something that like this time you have to make the interaction memorable or you have to at least remember each other's names so that you don't make the same mistake again. Now, if you do it right and you're playful enough about it and you create enough trust, she might well want to keep speaking to you after this mystically because you know what attraction isn't a very logical thing it's all about how people feel in our company so remember if you're transparent honest ethical playful fun and you acknowledge what's gone on that will do a lot to create the attraction question how do i truly change a very deep core belief context is this i'm overweight and not good looking and i'm egyptian just got to america about a year ago when I try to talk to girls, they literally say for 10 seconds and then they leave. So I say, you look nice. I won't say hi. They would say thank you and leave. Now, I think it's because of my looks that they see me and they're like, OK, not interested. First of all, I just I kind of like felt a lot <laughs> when I was reading that question. Um, I understand that you're carrying a big belief around with you at the moment. And I actually think it's about the belief here rather than and rather than about just all women not liking you. Uh, there's this weird phrase that I heard once, which is, uh, if you have a hammer, you go looking for nails, which means if you have a kind of a belief, kind of almost unconsciously or subconsciously, we start looking out for stuff to fulfill and complete that belief. So if that belief is like, oh, I'm unattractive or, oh, I'm always the friend, you search for evidence that fits into that framework. In fact, objectively, I can say, um, I think from many years of helping people to approach one another. Usually the initial approach, um, particularly man to woman, she's not, she's not really looking um, at you like, oh, he's not fit, bye. That's not how her mind's working. What's probably happening is you're approaching her 
And she's like, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Who is this guy? And the fact that she's standing there for 10 seconds, you know, that's not actually that bad. She's at least giving you an opportunity to connect with her and drive the conversation forward. The problem is, particularly if you use what's called a direct opener, where you compliment the woman and you say, oh, hey, I just wanted to come over and say that you looked really nice today. Most women's instinctual reaction is, okay, he said what he needed to say, back to what I was doing before. It's, it's really unusual that a woman will stay in that place. She'll usually, just, she'll usually just assume that you said what you wanted to say and then go back to whatever she was doing before you met her. A little thing that you can do to kind of circumnavigate this is you need to send a strong signal that this interaction ain't over yet. Uh, and actually that there's more that you want to say and the more that you want to communicate. So the best mechanism I've found for doing this is to offer your name. It's say, you know, my name's Sam or my name's Anna or whatever your name is. Um, offer your name. Uh, then when you get her name, what happens is by swapping names and maybe having a bit of a handshake, it snaps the interaction back together and signals that you want to say more. On a deeper note, though, what I would say is, whilst you, that will be a little kind of skill that's going to help, hopefully help the interaction to last a bit longer, the big cog turn that needs to happen in your mind is that it isn't all about how fit or how hot you are or how hot you think you are. Instead, it, an initial interaction between two people is just one big communications exercise. Try to the belief shift that would be great to happen that's going to take some time is to think if she knew who I was, if she totally got my sense of humour, if she knew all about me in the past and knew all about my qualities and she would be totally into me, like she'd really want to meet me. Then you just have to assume, if you assume that she doesn't know it yet, she hasn't recognised it yet, but if she did she would love to get to know you, that will help you to bridge the gap over the first few minutes where she really doesn't know you, she doesn't trust you yet, she's unsure what you're doing, um, and that makes it more of a communications exercise. So it's not just about someone rejecting you on grounds of like looks, it's actually that she hasn't understood or what your intention is yet, she doesn't know who you are, and because you started the interaction, you need to bridge that gap. So you bridge that gap by learning little skills like understanding that her default response is to walk off and so actually offering your name and building more trust is going to really help with that but also work on that belief believe that people want to meet you and they want to date you value what is good about yourself think about what people need to know about you and the things that make you wonderful and special and awesome in this world okay so anyway i'll be back again next week with some more q and a's i'm actually really enjoying this so good questions so far um, if you want to find out more about me in the meantime, you can go to hayleyquinn.com. I've got a guy's site and a girl's site, and you can look at the other person's site if you want. Uh, I also have two podcasts, Attraction HQ and Love HQ, that are awesome. They're on iTunes, they're on my website. You can also send your questions to me on Twitter, at Hayley Quinn, or hit me up on Instagram, at HayleyQuinnX, because I didn't get the original Hayley Quinn handle. How annoying. See you later, guys. <laughs>